Next, we wanted to add some additional detail to our exterior by creating a gabion. An important part of the gabion is the net, and in order to find the right one, we need a variety of different patterns to choose from. The quickest way we can easily achieve this is by using the end mesh. The most typical use case for end mesh is the creation of patterns that intertwine, like cloths, or in this case, nets. Let me demonstrate how we can easily create a net that will contain these rocks. To apply the end mesh, you have to select the object you want the pattern to be spread and click here. You can find the end mesh in the V-Ray Geometry tab. The next step is to add a pattern to your end mesh. I have previously created these patterns here. Just by selecting one and adding it here, you can immediately see that the pattern got tiled. Sadly, the tiling of the pattern is not dense enough, so let's increase it from here. If you would like the pattern to be thicker or thinner, you can use the height percentage to properly adjust it. To change the pattern of the net to something different, you can simply delete the current one and add a new one. Note that the pattern you're assigning should be tileable. Otherwise, you need to use the spacing parameters to properly crop the pattern.